Hi, I'm Gil Ozeri, and I'm pretty terrified about the end of the world. That's why I'm here in Spring City, Utah. I've been in contact with a guy named Pete Larson, who is a doomsday prepper, and he has agreed to let me stay in his bunker overnight with him, just the two of us. I'm very scared. Oh, I think I see Pete over here. Oh, all right. Oops. <laughs> Hello, hey. Gil. Hey, Pete. Pete Larson, nice to meet you. How's it going? Nice it's to meet good. you. It's um, good. We're spending the next 24 hours together. We um, are. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I've been involved in the preparedness program since, really since I was a child. Oh, wow. Because I grew up during the Cuban Missile Crisis. We live in a precarious world. If you're prepared, you're not scared. So I keep a year's supply of beans, bullets, and Band-Aids. Beans, bullets, and Band-Aids, the three Bs. You could have four Bs, throw in the Bible as well. All right, okay. Yeah. You don't need a year's supply of that, though. You just need one. Just one. I'm often told that I'm being too nervous, too overprepared. How do you respond to if that? If you stop and look at some of the recent problems that we've had, the hurricanes and such, yes. the earthquakes, mm -hmm. if somebody hits us with a bomb, a financial collapse would create a tremendous amount of chaos in the cities. How likely do you think these things are like to happen? I think they're guaranteed. Okay. You know, one of the biggest problems in the city, when the water runs out, where are the people going to go for water? That'll be ditch water and ponds and lakes. You're water describing like a nightmare to A me. nightmare. Yeah. The nightmare only gets worse. Oh, okay, when good. 90% of the U.S. population will die in the first year. I'm Glad calling you, you if there's a nuke. <laughs> Pete, I need a place. Sure. Yeah. Can you fit my family? If not, can you just fit me? You've really opened my eyes to a laundry list of things I can be terrified <laughs> of. So where is the bunker? Let's go take a look. All right, let's go take a look. This is it. This is the entrance. Wait, is that it? This is a steel door that will actually- I didn't even actually... notice it before, honestly. It was just sitting there, which yeah. is, I guess, a good thing. That you is a good people, thing. Yeah. You don't want a sign that says bunker here. Let's pop this baby open. Is that, uh... That's it. That's what you say? Yes. All right. Wow. There she is. Oh my God. How does that look? Uh, terrifying. <laughs> oh, it's got the stench that I thought it would have. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Yeah, grip there. <laughs> Just pull her tight. Here we go. Goodbye, world. <sighs> oh. Well, Gil, welcome to our home away from home. Oh my God. <laughs> this is some of the food storage and supplies that we keep pretty low, the ceiling. It is. What happens if there's a fire down here? We've got fire extinguishers. I'm Steel terrified of everything. So. Well, I've noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so these are diapers over here. Diapers, yes. You don't have to be afraid of those. They're for okay. babies. And these are the beds. What are these? These look like serious bullets. They're ones that don't fit in this gun. Okay. They fit in a little bit bigger gun. Okay. I don't want to ask it, but it's in my head. Sure. What if one of those things goes through my brain? What happens to my brain? Uh, it would ruin it. It would turn it into mush. Okay. And a lot of it would squirt out the exit hole. Right. Yeah. All right, that checks out. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic a little. It is, like, small for me. I feel like we're almost buried alive. We actually are. Oh, we um, are buried alive right now. The good news is every time I come down, I've yeah. been able to get out. Totally. I'm very nervous and hot right now, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> um, what's and the temperature what? in this? It's seat? actually 59 degrees. It is? Yeah. Why am I sweating like a pig? <laughs> am I talking too much? No, you're okay. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the bunker bathroom. Pick that up. Set oh, that's it. heavy. That is a little heavy. That's five gallons of water. Okay. And that's kind of an interesting thing about water. It is heavy. Now this is the water that we'll use for flushing. Once it goes in the toilet, never drink it. Pull out one of those packets. It's going to turn the water blue. That's another important thing. If you see blue water, don't drink don't that. Don't drink blue yeah. water. Right. I've also heard don't eat brown Keep going, you'll see. Look at there. Whoa. You're flushing the toilet. We made a toilet. We did. This Look is at that. like we bought a zoo, except with a toilet. You need to stop. You've had too much fun. Okay. Come here now. Can we cook some dinner up? Yeah. I have to tell you that I am kosher. Oh. I can't eat many things. The ramen comes in a package of 2,000. Pick the one you think I'm going to like. This says it's ramen flavor. Yeah, I'll take that. Ramen noodles. Hey, good job. And here's chunk light tuna. This says 2013 on it. 2013. You know what's kind of interesting about canned goods? They last many, many years. This expired four years ago, but you're saying we could still eat it? Yes. 
Well, the good news is you're the one that's going to eat it. It's kosher. Oh, right. This is the only yeah. thing I can eat. Yeah. Let's, Let's open it. that up. Oh, that was a knife that you just flipped open. Oh, it that was. was. Cool and scary. Badass. That looked good coming out. Yeah, it did. Look at that, that pink size. meat. Well, bon appetit. Yours looks much better than mine. Mine's just... It does look grim, doesn't it? Four-year-old tuna. Mm. I don't want to swallow it. Just suck it down. Last thing I want is to clean up a mess in here. Oh, it's so disgusting. I deserve it for being kosher, right? <laughs> no, you shouldn't have laughed at that. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have laughed at that. That was a test. So this was this is what it would be like for like a month or two months straight. Yeah. I can't believe I just went for another bite. I'm ready to call it a day. What do you think of your PJs? I really appreciate them. Is there anything that you're afraid of? You know, Gil, there's not. That's not true. There, there, there really isn't. If it's not fear that made you build this bunker, then what, what is it? I'm a realist, and I recognize that things will go wrong, and so I prepare for them. My greatest hope is that my great-great-grandchildren uh -huh. come into this shelter, look at it, and say, you know, Grandpa Pete was a goofy character. Look at all this stuff. And we don't need it. I'm hoping that's what will ultimately happen. I guess you could say that you've built this bunker not out of fear, but out of love for them. That's exactly right. Yeah, very good observation. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I came up with it myself. Good job. <laughs> that's what I like about you, Gil. You're a thinker. <laughs> Thank you very much. You too. Okay, so I have one more question, Pete. Who do you have a crush on? <laughs> Should we uh, call it a night? Let's call it a night. Good night, Gil. Good night, Pete. Oh, that tuna's coming up. Oh, hold it down, buddy, hold <laughs> it down. Hello, world. Oh. We did it, we're alive. <laughs> we did it, yeah. you're right. I thought it was Kill gonna have to carry night? you out. Yeah. Gil, it's been a pleasure. Hey, it's been, it's been great. <laughs> All right, good. All right, I'm gonna take off. Oh wait, can I have a hug? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I went too far with that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I think me and Pete are more similar than he thinks. We both worry too much about the worst case scenario. We deal with it in different ways. I mean, he prepares for stuff, but at the end of the day, I would say that I'm more courageous than Pete. Would you say that to Pete's face? I would never say that to Pete's face. I love Pete, but Pete's a maniac. Do you know, I really didn't know what to expect. Gil's a comedian, and quite frankly, he was delightful to have. If he ever wants, he's certainly welcome to come back. But I don't think Gil has a snowball's chance of surviving a nuclear holocaust.